Good morning and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey. I am a fourth grade teacher and welcome to the first week of school. Today is Tuesday. Yesterday was our first half day of school, which I vlogged, so if you missed it, make sure to go check it out. But today is our first full day of school and we have a lot of fun ahead of us this week. Let me show you what I have planned for today. So like I said yesterday, the first couple days of school are the most in-depth my lesson plans will be. I really want to make sure that I write everything down. That way I don't forget anything. It's really important to me that I'm able to share everything that I want to during the first couple days of school. So here we have just our normal morning routine and slide. Then a reminder for me to do lunch and attendance because this is the first day that we have lunch choices. We also have Spanish right away. So we're going to be hustling out the door, name shirts on. Like I said yesterday, they have shirts with their names on it that they wear to their co-curriculars. Then after that, we're going to have a quick class meeting. Most of my class meetings are just sharing what to expect during the day. So today we're going to review our morning routine and then also preview the day. This is also a great time for them to ask me any questions. After that, I'm going to do an all about Mrs. Russell slides. I got these for free off of TPT. And this is what we use for our student of the week, leader of the week. That way they kind of know what to expect. After the slides, we are going to do a room tour with a scientific twist. So the see, think, wonder is something that we do often in science. What do you observe? How can you explain what is happening? So starting to make sense about the things around the room. And then what questions do you have? This is one that often gets full very quickly in science and also on the room tour. So we are going to do this. And then based on the things that they want to know, I can share more about our classroom. Then as part of the room tour, I'm going to introduce the teacher mail. This is mail for me from them so they can communicate anything that they need to tell me. It also can be anonymous. So I just have these little templates here where they can write their message and then optional leave their name. I'm going to teach them today that when they're done with it, they're going to put it in our teacher mailbox. Then they can flip this up to tell me that there is mail in there that I need to check. This has been so beneficial for my communications with my students, so definitely something that I'm continuing this year. I get a lot of questions on whether or not the students take advantage of this space at inappropriate times, but I just communicate with them very clearly the times that they're able to do this, and luckily I have not really had an issue with that. After the room tour, they're going to have a chance to do an all about me activity. I've showed this before. When they're done with this, then they're going to have a chance to decorate their leadership binder cover. I like to give them creative freedom with this, and this is the cover for our binder where we keep all of our assessments. Then we have our snack break and and supplies organization that we did not get to yesterday. I also printed a bunch of labels for them to label their folders and notebooks. So we will do all of this today. Then we're going to have some reading time. We're going to talk about our classroom library, our routines for book shopping, and do a student reading survey. Helps me get to know them a little bit more as readers. We'll have this going as well as some book shopping. When they're done with the survey, then they can also have this bookmark to decorate. And then hopefully pretty quickly, they will all have a book to sit and enjoy for a little bit. Then it will be time to talk quickly about our recess and lunch routine and go to recess and lunch. This afternoon will be pretty full of our self-portrait project. This is again something that I get a lot of questions about on Instagram so I'm going to explain to you how I do it and introduce it. To start, after they come back from lunch, we're going to sit down for a read aloud. I'm going to read The Day You Begin, which of course is celebrating our differences. We will read this and have some class discussion. The self-portraits are a bit of a challenge because they can only use a few materials. We purchased face pads that they're going to take one of these. We also have a bunch of construction paper. They use the face pads, the construction paper, scissors, and glue, and that is it. It's definitely a challenge, no pencils. It's gonna take some time, but I do a little bit of modeling different parts of the face. This is just the start of mine from last year. And then they pretty much go off on their own. I encourage them to ask for advice from their peers while they're doing it. So it's just a really great class community activity. 
when the self-portraits are done, then I hang them all up in our classroom. It's a beautiful way for them to take some more ownership of our classroom and a way for us to celebrate each other every day. It's also pretty crazy how much they end up looking like themselves. So you're gonna have a lot of fun if you choose to do this project in your classroom. Happy Wednesday. As expected, our first full day yesterday flew by. There is just a lot going on at once. I feel like my to-do list is never ending. I didn't even switch the schedule for today. When I left, I was just ready to roll. So this morning I came in a little bit early to get prepared for today. I'm hoping that soon I'm able to be more organized and ahead of the game, but we're not there yet. The first week I've just accepted is going to be crazy. We did work on our self portraits yesterday and I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna hang them up tomorrow. I have a few that aren't done quite yet. And today is a very exciting day because we are rotating for the first time. This afternoon, I'm starting science with some things that I've already done with my class. I'm going to share a little bit of information about me, what to expect in science, and then we're going to do the See, Think, Wonder room tour activity. If we have time, I'm going to have them decorate some name tents, and I'm really hoping that I'm able to mingle during that time. Like I said, I came in early this morning. I have things to do, so I'm going to swap my schedule get my anchor charts done. Here we go. Now at some point this morning my teammates are going to come fill in what they're doing in a social studies and then right now I'm gonna go over to their rooms and fill in what we're doing in science. Here are the questions for our chalk talk this morning. So the students are going to get five sticky notes each. They are gonna move around the room to these questions and then give their answers, no name needed. But after everybody's shared a response to each question, we're gonna sit down and group similar responses, kind of discuss the things that we said that we need or want or what the classroom should be every day and have a little discussion about how to be respectful and hardworking and what we need from each other. So this will help us with later in the day when we go through our class family promises, the things that we can promise each other to make it a productive and happy year. So today we read our class as a family and had a lot of discussion about this during our read aloud time. I asked my class to start thinking about some of the promises that they can make to each other kind of as rules. I showed them this from last year, the things that we came up with, and then I gave them each a sticky note pad. That way they can kind of put their thoughts on sticky notes and they got a little excited and carried away with the sticky notes. I appreciated the excitement about it. I just am not in the place to sort this today, so hopefully tomorrow I can look through. I do just by 
briefly looking see a lot of good things on here so i'm excited to look through this but it's not going to be right now once i condense this then i will reveal them to the class and we will all take a second to sign them then this will hang in our classroom all year long definitely time for me to go now tomorrow is thursday but we do not have school on friday or monday so we'll be doing all the friday things for the first time so i will see you then school as you can imagine things have been very busy trying to wrap up the first week of school we got so much stuff done this week it is far too late but i was able to get a few things off of my to-do list part of being a teacher is understanding that your to-do list will never be cleared so i do feel good with the things that i got checked off i was able to get all of our self-portraits up you saw that right after school. I really wanted to take pictures of them up so that way I can put it in my e-blast this evening. I send an e-blast every Friday or in this case Thursday before the weekend, kind of a glance into our week together and then also looking ahead to next week. I share any announcements in that email. Today I'm sending it out for the first time so I'm not including any pictures of the kids in the classroom. Today I just wanted to take pictures of the portraits up on the wall to share something that we did but then I also attached something at the bottom that says if you would prefer your child not to be in the e-blast, the pictures in the e-blast going forward, please let me know. That way I know whether or not I have permission to send it. I just send it to the families, but I understand that some people might not want pictures of their child being sent out. So I ask in the first email if they would prefer not to be in the photos to let me know. I still haven't finalized that yet, but I've decided I'm just going to do it from home. I also was able to reset my board. I have a clean desk leaving for the weekend, so I am feeling good to go. I'm excited about sharing more here this school year, so if you've liked the first couple fourth grade vlogs, make sure you subscribe so you do not miss the next vlogs. It is finally time for the long weekend, so I will see you next week, and thanks for being here.